I don't really like to compare it to, to years past, but um, in the big picture, for one, I know we practice at a consistent standard, and that's really important. Um, the games, I, can, I could justify or rationalize or give the reasons that um, might look like inconsistency, but our mindset hasn't wavered, and that's, to me, really, really important. Um, the experiences that we've gained, whether the uniqueness of six days between UConn games, uh, we didn't respond as well to that as we would have liked. The um, the back-to-back -back union games, I think we would have been better there. But in talking with the guys about them, they understand. And now, if we have any situations like that, we want to come out on the right on the right side of things. It seems like overall, the scoring chances or the you know the ability to score goals is up, and and the you know limiting the other team's scoring chances is down across the board. Is that something that you guys have seen throughout the statistics, or is that something just an eye test there? No, it's. Uh... It's, it's, it's very real. Um, shots against are down, scoring chances are down, shots for are up, scoring chances for are up. And I think that's, uh, those are both good signs. Again, I know the questions were coming from the media early about our goals against, and it's always going to be a concern. I think we've had five straight games now of two goals or less, and that's, that's a really, really good number. And, you know, while our goals against have gone down a little bit, um, they're still in a, in a good spot, so the differential is a, a positive place. I don't know. It's exciting. Obviously, uh, like you said, we haven't had a real road trip yet, and, uh, and I think everyone's just really excited to get on the road. Um, you know, it's always fun to play in uh, got places like Princeton and Quinnipiac, so everyone's just excited to get on the road. Do you feel like you're playing consistent hockey right now through first, you know, eight games of the season? Um, I guess you could say that. Uh, we kind of look at the other way. We haven't. We've split every weekend, and uh, for us, that's that's not good enough. Um, we need to find a way to be more consistent uh, from game to game on on the weekend. But uh, we feel like we've been playing some good hockey, and we feel like we're gonna get there. Uh, you're, you seem to be scoring at a pretty good clip. Is it not just the power play, but uh, but five on five? You guys are feeling pretty good offensively. Yeah, I think we feel pretty confident offensively. Uh, obviously, like you said, the consistency consistency thing. Uh, some you know seems like we're scoring six or seven goals one game, and then one the next game. So. Um, just got to be more dialed in every game. I think we can do a better job do getting two wins in a week and not getting comfortable after one win. That's what we did on St. Lawrence and like have the have the jump every night to uh, yeah to get a two win week and I think that's that's something we can work on for sure. First full road trip for you guys this weekend in the league. First you know first time you're traveling to Boston overnight uh, away. What are some of you younger guys uh, hearing from from some of the veterans on the team about you know what it's like traveling in this league? I mean, I've heard the, the travel is not super far. I think I don't really know how long this road trip is, but it's like three hours to Princeton or whatever. All it is. right, yep. yeah. Uh, so I think it's just like we're staying in some nice hotels and get good food. So I've heard it's very good. And uh, for you, do you feel like you're getting more and more comfortable with each week playing in ECAC hockey? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think I get used to the pace. It's very fast, very, very good players. So for sure, yeah.